Happy Friday! It's Friday, Yubi! Yubi! It's a beautiful day in LA. The sun is shining. It's nice and warm. Yubi won't shut up. Heading to another private game tonight with a good friend of mine. It's just a friendly game. We buy in for $500 and do a 5-5 game. And just everybody's super sweet, really chill, no rake kind of game. Just for Friday fun. I have been really trying. Yubi! You're gonna get in trouble. Come here. Mommy's trying to do a video. Um, I forgot what I was saying. It's a friendly 5-5 five -five game. I've been trying to play at least two or three times a, a week so that I can stay sharp and stay on top of the holes that I've found in my game, make sure that I'm filling those consistently and making sure that I'm learning from the mistakes that I've had. Today's a cash game, which I'm pretty versed in my cash games, but I also have a tournament tomorrow. Staying sharp, staying on it. I'm gonna make a couple stops and then uh, we'll get to my friend's house and we'll play. Sounds good. Come on, mama. More pee pee. Okay, first stop, which is critical. This is very important and it must be done. Tacos. We're in LA. Tacos are a staple. Tacos are my life. I eat tacos probably three times a week at minimum. I don't care where I am in the valley. I will drive out of my way to go to Costa Grande because tacos are life. What's up, y'all? How's everybody doing? I had an order for pickup. Stop number two is also really important. I will follow Andrea to the ends of the earth. The earth? To the ends of the earth. Look at this, there's something new. Ooh. Hi, I boo. Like the outfit, so I heard you get a nice compliment out there. Thank you. Wait, are you recording me? I am. Why? Because you're cute. No. Yeah. She the one. Hey. Hey. Alright, I know what you really came here for, so let's get into it. I'm in the cutoff and look down at Kings. Oh yeah, Cowboys. It limps over to the middle position player who pops it up to 15. I go ahead and 3-bet that to 75, get 3 callers, and go to the flop, which is 5-7 Jack with 2 clubs. Checks to the original Razor, who makes it 200 into a $300 pot. I've only got 315 in my stack, so what do I do? Jam, of course. He says, I've got a pair. I really don't want to make this call, so I'm feeling like I'm ahead. Maybe he's got ace jack. I've got the blocker to king jack, maybe queen jack. He ends up calling. We go to the turn in the river, which is the nine of diamonds and the ace of hearts. It turns out he's got queen jack, and I scoop. It's always easy to win with big pairs, but what about these little tricky buggers? Threes. You guys know threes are my nemesis. I know no one gets excited about threes, but damn. And they do me some good at one point. There are seven players who limp into this pot, and on my big blind, I decide let's go ahead and pop this up to 45. And guess what? Every single body calls. 
we go to the flop which is five five four rainbow and i'm like actually that's not a bad flop for threes but i still check it to be safe there's way too many players behind me the player on the button makes a 250 which is fishy af so i go ahead and make the call and a uh, middle position player makes a call too i'm actually more worried about his call the turn is the ace of clubs i check again and middle position player open jams for 515 the button tanks for a little while, does a little hmm, him, ha, and folds. And of course, there's nothing left for me to do but fold. He ends up flipping over his cards and shows us the beautiful winning King 5 off. Are you serious? Well, since we're running pairs here, let's look at these. Jacked. I am again in the big blind and it limps around to the button who raises it to 65. I go ahead and flat that. One other caller comes in. We go three ways to the flop, which is deuce, jack, jack with two clubs. I don't give a shit about those clubs. I sure hope somebody's on the club draw. And you know what? I hope they hit their draw. I lead out with my nice, sweet check. Checks around to the button who makes it 100. I give it like a, huh, I wonder what I should do. Um, calling the other player folds and we go heads up to the turn, which is the three of spades. I check again to the button who grabs a big green stack, moves it to the middle, slams it down. And I'm so excited. I say call before he can let it go. And as he lifts his hand up, he moves back some of those so there's only 150 in there. At this time, I only have maybe 200, so I say all in, move my 200 in, and he folds, which means he was full of shit. But if we were anywhere else, if we were in a casino, there would have been a line in the table. They would have said, that bet stands, but it's a friendly game. There's no line. Everybody's chilling. So I didn't make a big fuss out of it. There was probably about 50, however much more in my stack that I could have gotten, but... I was okay with my mostly double up. Lesson learned for me, don't be too anxious. Wait until they finish their motion before I say whatever I'm going to say. So, lucky for you, but lucky for me. How's that? Okay, so my phone died, and now I'm back home. And um, it was a good night, y'all. I bought in for 500 and cashed out for 1880. What? I got some of the hands on video for sure. I had some really good bluffs at the end of it that I didn't get on video because my phone died. So that stinks. I had this one, I had, I had King Five of Hearts and I was actually under the gun and I just limped in for the $5. Everybody limped, I think it was like five players to the flop. And not that I remember what the flop is, but I do remember that there were two hearts. And um, I check, middle position player makes it 60. And then uh, the button calls and I just call the 60. And then the turn is a brick. I check, and middle position player check, and the button makes it 100. And then I call the 100. And the river is the ace of diamonds. And I did a little posturing, like I looked at the button and I looked at his stack. And then I looked at the middle position player and I looked at his stack. And then I made it 250. And middle position player is like, oh gosh, I feel like you have two pair now, like you must have two pair. And then I could see out the corner of my eye that the button was gonna fold. So I'm just like, let me get past this guy. And he ends up folding. So that was, that was really cool. I bought him for 500, right? I was down to $100 in chips. I didn't rebuy today at all. And worked my way back up all the way to 1800. I had some good hands. I had some other areas. It doesn't always go in your favor, but as long as it does sometimes <laughs> and you make up for it with good discipline in the long run you'll be good so I'm good looking forward to this tournament tomorrow it's like 1 30 in the morning so I'm gonna get some rest and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please subscribe you can also find me on Instagram at P's and Q's Poker. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you next time.